wonderful testimony of uh, baptism, and uh, I preached one sermon. This is a sermon in itself, and uh, I just was overwhelmed Friday night just thinking about the Lord's Supper we took, and then also baptism on Sunday morning for Easter. I don't think it gets any better than that, because that's what God has called us to do, uh, to observe these uh, commands. We believe baptism is an ordinance. It is something that is done uh, after salvation. It is a public commitment or testimony to the world of what's happened inside of your heart. And uh, we are Baptists, and so we like fried chicken, and we like to immerse people in the water. And so uh, we believe by immersion, it's a picture of the death of Christ and your life dying and then resurrection coming out in a newness of life, just what I preached about. And so this morning, uh, during this service, we have one, Mr. Josh Lanning, if he'll come forward for us. He is going to be baptized. And uh, I have taken a tape measure and measured this thing to make sure <laughs> that he can properly fit in here. But I promise you, uh, we're going to get him wet one way or another. But he, I think he is the tallest guy in church until his brother came. Is your brother taller than you? Yeah. Yeah, all right, here you go. I got you. Got uh, warm. It's warm. There you go. The first baptism I did was Miss Kay uh, in our old church, and I did not have a heater. I thought, who needs to spend three hundred dollars for a heater? When she sat down in the water, she looked at me and said, "I'm going to kill you." I thought, <laughs> "Well, I'm going to get a heater." All right, so we got a heater. All right, so Josh had come to me, and he had professed his faith in Christ, and uh, this morning he wanted to be baptized as a testimony, a witness to his family, and to uh, the the church family as well, that he has given his life to Christ. And so, Josh, have you personally accepted Jesus Christ in your life and heart? Yes. All right, my brother, uh, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in the likeness of his death, and raised in the newness of life. Amen? All right, brother. I got you all the way wet. Got it? Here, let me help you with this right here. <laughs> yeah. All right, what a beautiful picture of baptism this morning. Uh, we have four others that want to be baptized in the next service and uh, really praying for God as he works in people's hearts and lives. It's a, a beautiful picture of that salvation and uh, be praying for him and his family as well. And uh, his, his wife have two boys and are expecting a girl, Stella, coming up here in the middle of a uh, thing. So really excited for them and their family and him wanting to lead them in the things of the Lord. What a wonderful, wonderful testimony um, in his life. And so I'm going to close this in a word of prayer and uh, we'll be dismissed. I hope you have a great resurrection day and I hope um, the message of this baptism and the message of the gospel um, really gives you hope this morning because we have so much hope in Christ. So let's pray. Dear Father, we do thank you for this day. Thank you for Josh. Thank you for Sally, Lord. Thank you for their family. Thank you for their boys and the girl to come. God, I just pray for their home. I pray for them as he walks out his faith and he uh, just uh, this step of obedience that he took to this morning, God, would just be something to give him confidence to be able to lead his family in the things of the Lord and to uh, lead them uh, through those things. And God, I pray for us as a church that we will pray for them. We will stand beside them. We will help them through the times of their life as well, Lord. And God, I just thank you for being able to gather in this place this morning, Lord. What a pl- wonderful place you have provided for us. I pray as we go from each one of this place, we meet with our family families and our friends, Lord, that we will celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we serve a God who is not dead, but alive. And what hope and promise we have in that. And we go from this place with joy in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys are dismissed.